What's going on guys, it's Shane. We're back here with another video. Today we're going to be returning to Fayette Independent Schools owned by Lone Oak Transportation. I want to say Northern Valley so bad. I think that was their last company, Northern Valley, right? Or was it North Valley? I don't know. I don't remember because uh, that was a long time ago. But we checked out this BD edition uh, a long time ago and uh, we did one video on it and we're back here again uh, because the map is just uh, a lot better than the uh, the regular uh the regular is big as well, but this one's like more detailed and stuff. So, um, as the menu pops in there. Okay. So this game has a lot of resources to load. As you can see it, it opened that menu last and I'm sure my goodness, there, there was a lot to uh, load in there. Um, so perhaps a uh, uh, loading stream would be very nice. I don't know. I mean, I don't know who all would benefit it, but, uh, yeah. Uh, what do we drive? Um, what do we drive? Hmm. I'm trying to remember what we drove last time. I kind of want to go 2015 CE. What do you guys think? Because I don't think they have any newer ones, do they? Well, they have a 2021, but I don't think we can use that. Let's see. Oh, we can. Killer. Okay, cool. Speaking of CEs, the vote has ended in my server about uh, the first bus that Starline should be using. And this has no... Okay, it does. I was going to say, it had no side door. Uh, but it does not have a... It doesn't say... Oh, there it goes. Oh, my God. This game... I was about to say it had no school bus sign at the top. But this game really has an issue with loading things. But uh, I was going to say... Uh, Everyone has decided that the CE should be our first bus. So that's going to be it. Uh, I'm buying it now. Well, whenever they get back to me. But uh, yeah. Oh, God. I forgot about that. Park and brake. You can make it to where the park and brake is uh, enabled before you start the bus. That's an option in the uh, bus settings or whatever. Um I would advise if you're going to have it parked like this, have the park and brake be on by default. Uh, it would make more sense. So we're going to start this thing here. So this is a, oh God, that's loud. This is a 2021. Okay, signals work. That works. Little LED. Oh, I forgot. You gotta press F to open the door. Alrighty then. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off that parking brake. Now, Kentucky, this is in my neck of the woods. We just had a uh a hell of a, a storm. Um, not as bad as the one in 2021 where it ran through Mayfield and Dawson Springs. Um, but it was getting there. We had a, a tornado that touched down near Eddyville and it kind of just, it traveled. It really did. It scraped Dawson Springs again, uh, but it wasn't as bad as the Mayfield, uh, tornado. Luckily, man, I remember that I was up at 2 AM watching that thing. My goodness. On a school night, we had no school in the morning. Actually, I don't know if I told this story, but it, it went through my city. And it when I, I went to school, I was in high school. I was in uh, my senior year at the time, which this wasn't very long ago. This was 2021. Um, it, it, it killed two. Well, one student, it killed one student and one. Uh, it wasn't a teacher, but it was somebody that was a staff member, uh, like a faculty member. It, it went through my city and it tore up a lot of things and it killed two of of the people that I mean, I didn't know them because I was new at that school, but it was sad because they just had their graduation this year. There was a they, one of them was a sophomore. They had their graduation this year because they graduated like a few days ago and I was there and they they um they actually did like a. Um, they, they did like a mem remembrance thing there and it was very sweet. But, uh, yeah, that was 
we had another tornado so it didn't come through my city this time it kind of just went over it but uh man it, it ain't it ain't fun for those of you who don't live in tornado prone areas you're lucky now hurricane season's coming um for those of you who live in hurricane prone areas good luck to you florida california new jersey south carolina north carolina i don't know i actually don't know if they get, I, they get hurricanes because they had a uh, hurricane um what was that one at myrtle beach there was a hurricane there wasn't there i don't remember i don't remember but uh, that's the talk of today's video tornadoes and hurricanes <laughs> Tornadoes and hurricanes. Okay, we're gonna make a lift here. If my voice sounds a little weird, I just got up. I'm off today. Oh, blinking yellows. Love to see it. More cities and states should have those. I love, that's the reason I love living in Kentucky. We have uh, blinking yellow arrows, which is amazing. Now, some people don't know how to use them. You know, they don't, they can't, they don't know if they want to go or if they want to sit there and wait. But uh, if you're going to go, you go. Yo, don't just half-ass it through the intersection. <laughs> you don't want to do that. I hate that. It happens all the time here. It sucks. But uh, I'm proud to say since I've lived in Tennessee and Kentucky, Kentucky has better drivers than Tennessee. A hundred percent. Oh, I didn't even open the doors. I'm sorry, Timmy. Oh my goodness. I, he was sitting there standing at the door. <laughs> I'm getting carried away here. Uh, justice for Timmy, guys. Justice for Timmy. Okay. And I didn't even have my reds on. Oh my. That's my fault, right? That is my fault. All right, where are we headed? We're going to head towards that North Ashton Middle School. Now, I know a lot of you guys are worried about Canton, Georgia, the game there. Uh, to my knowledge, uh, the owner just has, like, school-related stuff going on, I believe. I don't know why that was a reason to kind of shut down the game. I, I don't know if that's the main reason, but if you look on the group wall, I think that's the reasoning. Let me see. I think it was school-related. Let me see. Uh, Oh, no. Hold on. There's a new wall it says can't re-released we are still in the process of remodeling copyrighted oh, okay yeah when your game gets to a big point you gotta like take out the mcdonald's take out the burger king take out all that stuff because you will get dmc'd if that's the i think that's how you say it, right dmc copyright you will get you will get your game will get taken down basically why can i move because the parking brake's on you idiot Oh, God. Here we go. Come on. I'm trying to finish reading that uh, announcement there. Let me hold on. Let's make another stop here. Because I know we got a lot of people that play that game. And they want to know what's up. Um, Ken will not reopen until sometime during the first week of June. Wow. All buses will have similar looks and just called something else oh wow so they're actually oh they're taking oh they're taking precaution precaution so they're trying to they're so instead of bluebird they're gonna call it like blue duck or something like that <laughs> it says we're pretty much just inverting the names and taking logos off for now wow okay we know that's not ideal but it's pretty much the only way to keep the copyright not a thing yeah that's true it's very true we also will be driving some new passes and adding new systems to dispatch. Nice. So, so that's the reasoning. It's not school related. It's uh, they're taking it down because they don't want to, you know, get copyright or anything like that. Uh, which I'm surprised NBC hasn't done anything like that. Their game's pretty big too. I guess. Uh, well, Jimbo lives in Canada, so it's like, I don't know. But I don't, I don't know what that has to do with anything. You still get copyrighted in Canada, can't you? if I know but 
but um yeah hopefully that kind of explains everything first week of june that's that's right around the corner that's in a few days So we're gonna go straight here is that snow i swear to god that's snow let me see oh my god we still got snow in parts of kentucky love it love it now i still don't know what i want to call my game i think i'm gonna call it school bus simulator starline i think that's i think that's gonna be the final name there the reason i have school bus simulator in it is because if you didn't know Using School Bus Simulator as a title will obviously automatically get you more playtime because people are, are not on the uh, search engine trying to search up your specific game. They're searching up School Bus Simulator. And if that's in your title, it's going to pop up, right? So that's what the idea is behind there. And Starline is just to... That's, 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 the, uh, that's the motto, okay? That's the... That's that's what we're representing, Starline. So here's North Ashton Middle School. We're going to be dropping off here. Okay. Alrighty then. Now what we're going to do is we're going to turn off this bus. Where do we park? Oh, over here in the bus loop. We'll park right next to that stop sign on the other side. Now there's no crosswalk. Is oh there is. It just doesn't have the the lines in it. I was going to say, how are those kids going to get across the road? What we're going to do is we're going to turn off this bus and we're going to open the doors. Because that's how they do it in Kentucky. I didn't mean to. Oh, God. <laughs> That's loud. That is loud. Are you going to turn off? Oh, you're not. You're not going to turn off. You are loud. Okay. Well, that was kind of our update video. It wasn't really an update because there was no update here, I don't think. But uh, I wanted to do another video on this game. If you guys do wish to play it yourself, it will be linked in the description down below. Um, with that being said, if you guys like the video, please do like and subscribe and I will catch you guys next time. Peace.